Hello everyone, how is it going today? My name is Malachi Plays and I make YouTube videos. So today is going to be a fun commentary today. So what we're going to be talking about is three topics. First one going to be um, offensive emblems. They are just so annoying, I gotta talk about it. And then the second topic, schooling. And then the third and final topic. And if we have anything more, I'll add on to it. But TVs. So what is a great TV to play on? So that's what we're going to be answering later on in the video. So stay tuned. So with emblems, I'm so sick and tired of going into lobbies and seeing things like um, God isn't real. Um, I saw this one. Also, this guy put like a chicken and then had like a fish wire and a Ku Klux Klan. Like, are you kidding me right now? Why are you doing that? And then one person even put the Boston bombing and said, lol. So that I, I take a lot of offense to that. I find that offensive and very rude to a lot of people. I've seen many offensive emblems on this game, and um, I guess Treyarch, I, that's the only thing I don't like about how people make their own emblems. And let's, let's continue on with, like, nudity. A lot of people make emblems of nudity of girls that are naked or, like, cum shots and stuff. It's like, why are you doing this? It's, you have no purpose of doing this. Why are you doing it in the first place? So I... I kind of want to talk about it. So, my emblem is a cross, and it says, God is my savior, and then 777. Now, I use that one because I am a Christian, and that's my beliefs. That's why I use it. Now, I don't think mine is very offensive, because it's just my beliefs. Now, your beliefs of saying lol to the boss bombing, uh, no, you're freaking rude as hell, and you really need a reality check because you are absolutely hurting so many people in the process of doing that. So that's one of the things why I get so angry. And also with the nudity. Why are you showing nudity? If you want to see nudity, go type in Pornhub.com. Don't waste your freaking time. Like, I don't understand. Um, I was on Omegle a few days ago, a few weeks back. And I was on there and I saw so many people's dicks. And I'm like, what is your problem? Why don't you just go onto a porn site and leave us alone and stop doing this. I was gonna go on there for trolling. I was trolling people, pretending that I was a girl when I was a guy. It was heck of funny, man. It was it was a lot of fun, but um, the people that I get get. But um, continuing on, it's like these people are so darn like weird and rude um, to these people. I mean, showing an emblem, you know, might not say much. You know, a lot of people might not care about it. You know, don't take offense to it. But I really do. Even though I'm not even black, I take offense to KKK because I find that the group is wrong. Just because the color of your skin doesn't mean that you should be thought of. Yeah, there's an N-word and then a black person, but there's also a white person and a messed up person. You know, it's like, no, everybody is different. Not Just because your color of skin doesn't mean crap. Look at Charles Manson. He was white. So that, that says a lot um, of the people that he killed. Look at Hitler. He was white. You know, it's like, why are you just um, certainly just putting these black people as all these horrible people? They're not bad people. I mean, people really need to have some reality checks and not be so rude. Um, we're so mean to each other. It's like, treat each other like if we were own family, you know? I don't understand why are we um, being so mean to people and showing off offensive emblems like those. So that's going to be it on that topic. I just really would advise you not to put out an emblem. Put out an emblem that is cool and that somebody's going to remember and be like, wow, that guy made a good 3D effect of a bomb, like a blowing up explosion, you know? And instead of something that is like lol at Boston bombing, that's not funny. That was one of the horrible things that have happened this year. And then last year, even with like the Aurora, Colorado, why do you have to point out those things and say that it's funny? It's not funny. N anybody dying, any tragedy happening is not funny. If anything, it's sad. It's horrible. It's absolutely dis. Like, it's, it's horrible. It's bad. And so that's it for that topic. So moving on to school. So, guys. I um, am pretty much finished with school now. Um, I'm pretty much three days away, three school days away from finishing school. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, so what happened is I was failing my math class from the fourth and fifth term. I had a 0% and then a 50%. So let me tell you what happened here. I was just not going to school. I haven't 
kind of this year I haven't been going to school. I don't know why I haven't been going to school, really, to be honest. There's no reasoning behind it. I just don't like school. And so I go and do these things, staying after school and getting my grade up. And guys, the biggest weight has been lifted off me. I am passing all my classes. I passed both the math classes just on this Friday. I um, <clears throat> pretty much done a lot of tests, got everything done, and I'm such a relief, guys. It is so like awesome like talking about it it just makes me so happy because I freaking had this big weight of not coming back next year to this one alternative school it's an alternative school um, two hours a day and it's a school for me it's really it's been a life changer it's changed my life because um, I never liked school and this has made me like school a little bit more the short amount that it has liked but it's still I like school way more than I have ever have even though I missed a lot of days I was kinda sick and I, I, I've been having horrible sleeping problems lately. I don't know what I could do. Well, if you guys have any, like, certain help me, please, <laughs> uh, to be able to fall asleep better. Because lately I've not been able to fall asleep. And I stayed up till, like, 1 in the morning and only got 5 hours of sleep on Friday. So I went to school on Friday and I was super duper tired. So if you guys know any remedies that you can do to, like, make yourself fall asleep easier... Let me know because I'm really interested because I cannot be doing this. I cannot be going to sleep or not be able to go to sleep. I have things to do. I have stuff to do. I have to make commentaries, you know. I have to go to school. Um, I'm so glad school's out, though, because I'm going to be doing a lot over the summer. Um, busting out commentaries, playing some basketball, and even getting ready for some football season. Which I will be talking about in a few commentaries. My love for football because I just love football. But going on to the last and final topic is TVs. So guys, I have a uh, Pana or a Polaroid, and you guys have probably never heard of the brand because it's such an old brand. This TV is about seven years old. It's a 32 inch, and my dad got it when he was at an apartment. So he bought it, and it's a decent TV, but it burns stuff in the screen. So let's say you have a score, like um, I'm gonna take the Mariners baseball game. I was watching Mariners ball. Mariners baseball. So they're playing the White Sox. You know, they're they're playing. It's a 4-3 score. And it burns into the TV. This is an example. I don't know if it's a real score, but um, it burns into the TV and stays there. And it's like a red, greenish, dark color. Like, it's not the actual color, but it burns into the screen. It's just sitting there. So when you're playing, like, NBA, it'll, it'll burn into the TV. <laughs> it's so stupid. But um, I also wanted to say is, if you guys haven't noticed... Um, on um, bigger TVs, uh, they they like are crazy. It's when you turn on the um, sensitivity with the Black Ops 2, um, it's a lot delayed. It's way delayed when you're on a bigger TV. I've noticed with 40 plus inch TVs that this is the problem, but with 30 inch TVs that at least I've experienced with haven't had the problem and are perfectly fine and you know everything is on time and on point. So that's going to do it, guys, for this commentary. I want to know if we can hit 15 likes. We did it on our podcast, and I will be definitely busting out another podcast this week. Um, make sure to see that sometime this week. I don't know when. We haven't recorded it. I'm going to have a few guests on there, different guests. I might have uh, Travis and, uh, uh, gosh, Miles. And uh, so I'm going to have them most likely on the game. I don't know what Miles has been doing, so... Well, hopefully if Miles doesn't join in on session, we'll get somebody else to join the show. So if you guys want to join, put a comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this great gameplay of League Play. Peace.